Uh, hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again. What I'd like to do is, show, is to show you today this repeated star pattern that I've created in front of you. Okay, as you can see, there's a radial repeat and it's been blended into the center point of its uh, axis. OK, and what I'd like to do is just show you the process that you need to follow to create this type of design, which you could use across many forms, i.e. logo designs, patterns, a wide range of uh, genres and uh, designs that you can implement this into. OK, so what I'm now going to do is just quickly zoom out using our zoom tool here and press option. Like so, and we're going to now use our selection tool and we're going to select everything and restart. OK, so I have an artboard already set up for us with a nice beige uh, pink uh, background. And the first thing I'm going to do now is create a staff. So you just get our star tool and let's come through. Pressing shift also as well to keep it nice and proportionate like so. Just going to put a color in there and we're just going to implement a little bit of a stroke. OK, so here's my star. Now with that selected, what I'm going to do is come to Object, Repeat, and Radial. And as you can see now, that element has been repeated radially around that circumference. Now I'd like to increase this, so I'm going to go back to Object, back to Repeat, and we have the options here. And we're going to come through and increase the offset, probably going to say around 450 for this particular instance. Wonderful, and I may even increase the number of stars that you see here. Like so, okay. So I'm going to take this here and just going to resize it. Uh, sorry, recenter it using the uh, alignment tools. And now what I want to do is just quickly expand this uh, element. So I'm going to have that selected. We're going to go to object, and we're going to go expand, and we're going to press OK. Now, using the shortcut option on the Mac or Alt on Windows, I'm just going to resize it from the center point whilst pressing Shift also as well at the same time. So about there. And now what I want to do is copy this, Command-C, and I'm going to paste it in front, which is Command-F. And now let's resize the one on top by pressing Option again or Alt on Windows and Shift also as well at the same time. Okay, so... With my selection tool here, what I'm now going to do is come through and select everything. And I'm now going to use my blend tool. So I'm going to double click on the blend tool to get our blend options open. You have three options to choose from. The specified steps should be the one to be choosing. And you can dictate how many steps you want in that particular blend. I am going to go for the number 10. If now we press OK, wonderful. I'm going to come through with the blend tool and now just click on the original, sorry, the outer uh, group and click into the inner one and there you can see we have blended these together now what I want to do is give it sort of a faded effect in the center point so using my uh, um, direct selection tool I'm just going to come through and shift and click all the middle stars there like so make sure you don't miss any And with the eye, uh, the shortcut eye, I'm going to use the, for the eyedropper. I'm just going to pick up that background. And as you can see, I'm just going to remove the stroke also as well, like so. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, as well, there are videos that are coming out on a weekly basis. So please make sure you take a look at some really interesting information and some cool effects. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. And I'll see you next time.